The rest story, I can't remember what number this is, but well, just fix it home. Um, and we're doing, we're dealing with Claire now and her friend who've been to Bucharest. They departed, but I kept in touch. Uh, villain, vicious man as I am, I had two tickets, so to say, to get out of the communist uh, labor camp, labor camp speaking figuratively, figurative, you know, figurative uh, way, <laughs> I mean, um, uh, not literally, um, but uh, it was not good to stay here, so... There was another prospect, an American woman from the South. I can't even remember that girl's name. Uh, that was not good looking at all. I, it's mean, vicious, what I'm saying, but she was very large, horizontally challenged, or fat. She was. Um, a nice girl in the sense that she wanted me. She wanted me so much. She came back with her mother to take me out, to marry me and take me to Texas, I think, somewhere in... Uh, not a large city. I don't even remember what the uh, name of the place is. I will have to come back to that because one year on, 1919, summer she comes to fetch me. But by that time I'm in love with Miss Romania, so don't care about Texas, so she could have been from New York and uh, well maybe if she was a billionaire who knows <laughs> um, but uh, I've always been uh, sort of greedy and interested in money uh, then and in the high points of this uh, romance with Miss Romania I Doubt if a billion money, a billion dollars would just get me out. I may have negotiated it. I let's not get uh, too far ahead. Um, Linda, that was the name. Linda. This Linda would vote for Trump today. I would say, being still vicious, as I said. Uh, with Claire, I, I was speaking on the phone and I remember how difficult it was. I, I didn't have a phone at home, I, I mentioned that. I had to queue outside the phone booth together with uh, 10 other people or so. Often there was just one working. Sometimes there was none of them working and you had to go some other place to join another queue of 15 or 20 people this time. I was even handcuffed by a policeman once to a radiator inside the apartment building because I was kicking such a phone in desperation. Took my coins, couldn't call. I had to meet this girl. That was usually the case, it was a girl, not some friend, a man friend. Um, and coins were difficult to get to. I mean, they didn't have. Everybody needed coins for phones. I was I wasn't the only one. There were so many without the phone. I don't know. Half of the people didn't have one. In that neighborhood in Dristor, there are many more. So um, no question of calling from home, but I was calling from the post office, the main post office near the building of the telephone company. Uh, right off Victoria Avenue. I'm waiting and waiting there with other people to make a connection. An operator would call and you'll be connected with Sheffield, England. And I would speak with her and she again, in fact, Claire would come to... What am I saying? She came with some uh, music on audio cassettes and the music I liked. And she was so nice and good. That was so mean. Well, there were opportunities once the revolution was successful. 
but again I'm getting ahead too far ahead um, there were so many things so many <laughs> girls I could meet so many so much money I could make here so uh, but um, we're still not there yet well, we we have to pass through Pana Brasov once again to get to the revolution but that's for the next time